Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Media, back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I have some pretty exciting global updates for you guys. So, let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing I want to talk about real quick are the return of the weekend summon tickets. And the reason that we know for sure that they're coming back is because of these new missions we now have in the database. And if you guys don't remember, this is actually something we had on Global a couple months ago. And the way it worked was that every weekend, at least for the next few weekends, we'll be getting these missions that we can clear for some free tickets. And also, if it's exactly like last time, then we should also get one ticket a day during the week just for logging in. And then once the weekend comes, they'll release a ticket banner that we can do some free summons on. And potentially, if you get really, really lucky, also pull some LRs on. So it's overall a super sweet deal, and I'm really happy that it's coming back. Now, it looks like the first weekend we'll be getting this on is going to be uh, June 14th to June 16th. So that's going to be the first set of tickets. And the second set of missions is going to be between... That's the third one, actually. So the second one here is going to be June 21st to June 23rd. And finally, the third set we can see here is going to be between June 28th to June 30th, which we can assume is going to be the final weekend. So it's going to run for three weeks, which means a lot of tickets and a lot of free summons and some good chances to pull a free LR. Now, one thing I want to make sure that everybody's clear on is that last time we kind of got screwed. Basically, what happened was that every weekend up until the last one, the ticket had regular or the banner had regular rates, right? And then on the final weekend, they decided to surprise us by doubling the rates on the banner. But by that time, most people who didn't know, I mean, actually nobody knew that was going to happen. So most people already had spent their tickets on the previous you know, weekends and uh, couldn't take full advantage of the final double rates banner. So what I would recommend, strongly, strongly recommend people to do is save up all your tickets for uh, all the weekends up until the final week just to see if they decide to do something crazy like that, you know, double the rates, triple the rates, whatever it is, and then spend all your tickets at that time. Because if they do end up doing that again, you know, making it double rates or something even crazier than that, then you don't want to miss out, right? You don't want to have spent, you know, most of your tickets before that and be sad like I was and a lot of other people were last time. Um, and even if they don't do anything crazy, right? Even if they don't give us double rates again, it doesn't really hurt, you know, it doesn't really make a difference. You'll still have a lot of tickets you can spend on the final banner and uh, test your luck there. So, you know, I would say follow my advice, do that, but it's really up to you. If you want to spend your tickets as you get them, it's totally up to you as well. So um, just a little, you know, pro tip or, you know, a little bit of advice from your boy Tiger who has been through the last set of weekend tickets and got screwed like a lot of other people. So... Um, yeah, there's that. But overall, you know what? I'm not going to be, you know, really negative about this because it's still a really, really nice thing. It's free summons and potentially free LRs. So uh, it's awesome. So these are coming back starting on the 14th, which is next weekend and going for the next two weekends as far as I can see. So there's that first order of business. Number two, basically the assets of the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks Extreme Z Awakening are translated on global. But the Z battle does not have a date yet. So this could really not mean too much or it could mean a lot depending on the news that we get tonight in game for the Int Kid Goku celebration. Now, while we're on the topic of Extreme Z battles and Extreme Z awakenings, we are definitely, definitely due for another EZA on Global. And I definitely think that we will get one for the in-game news tonight for the Int Kid Goku celebration. And I believe the most likely one is going to be Int Janemba. It just makes a lot of sense going by the order that JP got them in. But at the same time, I've also heard some rumors out there of people saying that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks will be pushed before Int Janemba. I'm not really sure why. It wouldn't make a ton of sense to me, but I guess it's a possibility. At the end of the day, it's all speculation right now and We'll know for sure once we get that news at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. But for now, all I'll say is that we should definitely be getting an Extreme Z Awakening. And it's going to be either in Janemba or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. More likely in Janemba, just because it makes more sense. All right, so there's that. And I believe there's one last thing I want to talk about, which is the uh, update 4.3.3 that just got released on Global. And as expected, it was just a bug fix thing but one significant aspect of this update is that for the first time ever global is actually ahead of jp as far as versions go and it's not going to stay that way for long because i believe that 4.3.3 was already announced for jp so we're going to be on the same version once again very very soon but for the time being 
global is ahead and I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> and one other thing is for Android emulator users, uh, namely Nox, Bluestacks, and so on and so forth. This new update did fix the game for those emulators. So if you guys were having trouble in the past with crashes on 4.3.2, all the issues with this new update should have been fixed. So that's cool too. You can start using Nox again. You can start using Bluestacks again and some of those other uh, popular Android emulators. If you guys don't use emulators, then I guess it doesn't really apply to you. Although I believe that some like physical devices were also having trouble running 4.3.2. So if you guys had one of those devices, I think one of them was like the Zen phone or something like that, then you know the game should be fixed for you as well. So that's awesome too. So that's pretty much all the news I have for you guys today. I think the most exciting thing is definitely the return of those weekend tickets. And uh, like I said, guys, I would definitely recommend to save your tickets until the last weekend just to see if they decide to pull any crazy stunts like they did last time. And uh, once, of course, the in-game news drops and we have more information about this upcoming celebration, I'll definitely make another video to keep you guys in the loop. And that's all I really have to say for today. Hope you guys found today's video uh, useful or entertaining in some way. And as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're freaking awesome. I love all of you. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media, signing out.